I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons, my Biblio Spran, Biblio Howlers, and Biblio Mansers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means so much to me. Hi everyone, Patek here. Today's video will be something different from my usual videos because today uh, I will be showing you something that a viewer got me. This never happened before. And I never expected or insist anyone get me a present. Anyone who watches my YouTube channel, if you're watching my YouTube channel or maybe you're a patron of mine, that's more than enough already and I'm super thankful. But this person is going above and beyond. So last month, I received a message on my Instagram. I received a DM in my inbox and it says, Hi Patrick, thank you for your awesome content and growing my TBR tremendously. Over the past years, I've battled a serious illness and I found reading and watching my favorite content creators have been a couple of ways that I mentally got through treatment. I'm doing much better, thank God. And I just want to do something nice to pay for the positivity. I would like to send you a gift card to the Dragon Steel site if you are agreeable. I know you have your eye on the special editions and would like to contribute to the awesomeness. If it's okay, I think they might require an email to send it to. Would that be okay? Yes, exactly. So this reader, Jen. So Jen messaged me saying that she want to give me a Dragon Steel edition. Yes, Dragon Steel, the leather bound edition by Brandon Sanderson. This really sounds too good to be true. I mean, I live in Indonesia. I don't live in US. I don't live in UK. I don't live, I do not live in Europe. It is difficult for viewers to send me books. And again, once again, I never asked for it, okay? Publishers, authors, and my co-bloggers are giving me more than enough books already. More than enough books to read. But I really have to say that I am super thankful to Jen for this because I am a huge fan of Brendan Sanderson. I am a huge fan of the Cosmere universe. As some of you, I think a lot of you know already. And in reality, collecting the entire Dragon Steel edition is still a dream of mine, especially getting the Way of Kings Dragon Steel edition. And guess what Jen has sent me? Today it has arrived and yes, it is the Way of Kings Dragon Steel edition and I'm going to open it now. So this is not a surprise anymore because, well, it is inside this box. This is the Way of Kings. I got the voucher from Jen and I made the purchase. I made the purchase for the Way of Kings Dragon Steel edition. So now let's open it because I cannot wait any longer. So yeah. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. Ta-da! It's real. It arrived in a slipcase, slipcase box set. Wow, this is super cool. I'm going to open it now. Hold on. It's wrapped in such a thick bubble wrap. <laughs> Wow, I cannot believe this. This is actually real. I have seen pictures of uh, the Way of Kings. I can only admire it from afar anyway, digitally on the internet. And I can't believe that I will finally own this in a few seconds. This is crazy. Look at this. Ooh, the smell is very strong. <laughs> the smell of the slipcase. Hold on. Speak again, the ancient oats. Oh, this is still wrapped in plastic as well. Hold on. I'm going to open it. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Hold on, hold on. Wow. I own so far, I own Mistborn Trilogy, Dragon Seal Edition, and I also own Warbreaker. Uh, Dragon Seal Edition, which I bought with my own money and that was super expensive already. And this one is twice the price because it arrived in two volumes. So this is, wow, this is, uh, this is The Way of Kings Volume 1, which I think contained the first half of The Way of Kings. Oh, look at this. This is the original cover art by Michael Wellen. Yeah. It is used as the end paper, which I think is so rightfully deserved. And wow, look at it. Look at the fun cover, the symbol. This is the spine. 
and this is the back cover. Speak again, the ancient oats. Of course, I have to smell it, and it smells really good. After the beautiful end paper by Michael Whelan, we have some cover art from other foreign editions. Uh, this one is the UK cover, and this is the UK cover by Sam Green. I don't know which cover this is. And then, what's next? What's next after this? Ooh, this is so exciting, and I'm so scared of opening it. Ah, this is the Chinese edition. The Chinese edition by Jiangu. Love it so much. Wow. And then, of course, a map, a map of Roshar by Isaac Stewart. After that, we have another foreign edition cover art. And this one looks super stunning. Love this cover art so much. And yeah, the Way of Kings uh, Dragon Seal Edition arrived in two colors, and the main color for this one is blue. So, yeah, see, you can see here, it's written in blue and black. Oh, this edition isn't signed, but I don't mind. Receiving a gift like this, I don't think I will care about whether it is signed or not. I'm just, I'm just too over the moon. I mean, this is the Way of Kings Dragon Seal Edition. This is just unreal, and at the end of this video, I will show a brief flip through of the Way of Kings Dragon Seal Edition. Uh, this is quite a long preface. I will read this uh, later. I cannot wait to get to the interior artworks. Oh wow, look at this. It's in blue. So beautiful. I think Words of Radiance will be done in red. And <laughs> this time, I will make sure to get myself a copy of it uh, immediately, even though I know it will cost me so much money. And Prelude to the Stormlight Archive. This is crazy. This is one of the craziest gifts I ever received. Next to the Folio Society edition uh, of the Book of the New Sun that I received from my uh, booktuber friends. But this is The Way of Kings, the beginning of the Stormlight Archive, my favorite ongoing series of all time. This is the map of Alatkar and look at the symbol. Love it so much. Symbol of the Windrunner. Oh! This scene, this scene, look at this scene. This is so beautifully illustrated. I know that this one is illustrated by Micah uh, Abstain and looking at it in person is a different experience. This is just a different experience. Look, wow, just wow. And of course, the prologue to kill. It's done in blue and there is a new, the chapter header is actually new here. Yeah, I think this one is done by Jan Guo as well. It is his style. Look at it. To that Zon Zon Valano, truthless of Shinova, worldwide on the day he was to kill a king. Ah, so cool. I, I am so looking forward to read, uh, reading this book again, probably in the year 2024, and I will use this edition when the time comes. Hold on, I'm trying to find an interior artwork uh, to show here. Uh, again, this is part of the original Way of Kings edition, but this time there is a blue color on it. And take a look at the chapter header. It is a bit different than the one I just showed you earlier. Wow, this is just, this is just so beautiful. This is uh, the interior artwork at the end of part one of the Way of Kings. The, I believe that this one is done by Steve Argal. Look at it. If you have read this book, you know what scene this is. And I will not say anything about it, just in case some of you haven't read the book. I'm going to try to find uh, one more interior artwork that is uh, non-spoilery, and then I will open the second volume. This is just beautiful. What an edition. I don't know which one I like more between this or Warbreaker. But this... Ah, this is Dalinar and Navani. Fully colored too. Look at it. Oh my god, Jen. This is just... What a gift, what a gift, seriously. I don't, I don't feel like I deserve it or something. <laughs> and at the end of part two, we have this interior artwork. Again, I believe that this one is done by Steve Argal and he did such an excellent job on illustrating this scene. And so the first volume adapted until the end of the second interlude and oh, Oh, wow. Look at the final end paper on uh, volume one. This is a uh, Kaladin. I believe that this one is illustrated by Howard Lyon. And wow, this is 
This is one of the best art I've ever seen. Amazing, amazing scene. This is Kaladin and Sil. And wow, look at the high storm. I keep on saying wow, but seriously, I have I have no words. It's magnificent. Look at it. Dragon still did such an excellent job on this edition. So much. This is one of the best edition that I own. And I still can't believe that this is in my hands. I can't believe this. <laughs> okay, let's open the second volume now. Wow, look at this, my hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm really happy that this, uh, this edition comes with a slipcase though. Slipcase, I think, is very important to protect books. I have a few books that I own that I put on a box set, not even a slipcase, and those books remain uh, not yellow to this day. Those paperbacks, like the first Lot Trilogy box set. Ah, uh, for this one at the back, it is written, Life before death, strength before weakness, and journey before destination. This is just so unreal. I'm not kidding. So unreal. Two volumes. And this is the second volume. This is the back cover. Life before death, strength before weakness, and journey before destination. And uh, this is the front cover. This is the spine. The Way of Kings, volume two. God, I love this edition so much. I think, I think this just might be the best edition of a book that I own right now probably i have to think about it uh harder but wow look at this but yeah this has the potential either this uh, book of the new sun for the society edition or warbreaker dragon steel edition Tada! this is dalinar by randy vargas i forgot this one i think uh i think this one is done by audrey hote but again i could be wrong oh at the front we have uh suzette sonson valano by ben max Sweeney. Love this one. This is such an iconic, uh, iconic post. And I cannot wait to read uh, Stormlight Archive Book 5. Wow. See? So pretty. Beautiful. Just... Wow. My god. This is storming beautiful. What else do we have here? Ah, this is Tara Vanjian. And the Way of Kings Volume 2 begins. And again, it starts with a map of Roshar done in blue. And yeah, after that, we will see. Yeah, part three. Dying. <laughs> I am dying to get this edition. And I finally have it in my hands. Once again, I'm going to show two interior artworks. And then I will call it a day. Because I need, I need to take a look at this edition uh, by myself. But for now, let me share this happiness with you. And yeah, this interior artwork, wow, this is uh, an image of the Parshan D. And this art, I know that this is done by Dandos Santos. Amazing depiction of the Parshan D. Amazing. Incredible. Dandos Santos is one of my favorite artists. And to have him participate in this edition, just like he did in Warbreaker as well, just makes me super happy. Oh, again. Oh, and again, this is another one that is done by Dandos Santos. This is of Kaladin and Sil. Ooh, I'm so scared of opening this. Yeah, I hope that you can see this. I have to be careful here, okay? I just got this book. I have to be careful when I'm opening uh, the book. Dando Santos is such an amazing artist. I love his artwork so much. The stuff that he did for the King Killer Chronicle, The Name of the Wind 10th Anniversary Edition, was absolutely beautiful as well. And at the end of part three, we get another interior artwork by Steve Argall. So you have seen three artwork by Steve Argalls, and I think that's it for the uh, artwork from him, unless you want full spoiler, okay? <laughs> and now I'm going to show one more fully colored artwork, and then, yeah, that's it. Let's call it a day. Yeah, this one is vague enough, so I'm going to show you this one. See? I'm not telling you what's in this is from, but yeah, this is such a great, a compilation and collection of artwork from many terrific artists. I cannot wait. I seriously cannot wait to reread The Way of Kings using this edition, most likely again in 2024. But yeah, it will be awesome to reread The Way of Kings using this edition. It will be super awesome. The Way of Kings is one of my top favorite books of all time. Every book in the Stormlight Archive, in my opinion, is a pure masterpiece in epic fantasy. And it's done. And yeah, seriously, I I don't know what else to say other than to say uh, thank you so much, Jen. Uh, if you're watching this, seriously, it means so much to me uh, to receive these two books, these two volumes of The Way of Kings. 
uh, from you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Seriously, this is one of the greatest edition of books that I ever received and it is for one of my top favorite books of all time. Let's take a look at both volumes together, side by side. Zada! Look at this, look at this. So pretty. So now, I own almost all Dragon Steel Edition, only Elantris is left. I will save money for it, I will save money, but again, uh, I think at the end of the year, Brendan Sanderson has announced that he will release the Dragon Steel Edition for the Alloy of Law and also Shadows of Self. So again, I still have to save money, but this just means so much to me. Seriously, it means so much and thank you, thank you so much. I don't know what else to say other than I will treasure this. Trust me that this will always be kept in pristine condition even if I read the book. It will always be in pristine condition. I am very careful when I'm reading my books. So once again, thank you so much Jen for sending me a copy of this. For every one of you watching this, I hope that uh, you don't mind me sharing a part of my happiness here because this is just unprecedented and yeah, the last time this kind of thing happened, it was for Book of the New Sun, Folio Society Edition that I mentioned earlier, sent to me by my booktuber friends. But yeah, this one is absolutely insane and surreal as well. I am so thankful for it. And do tell me whether you collect special edition of books or not. And do you collect Dragon Steel Edition or not? As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye bye.